thank you for uh, joining us in this kind of spotlight edition of uh, uh, ASC under the microscope uh, in and around COVID-19 and what we're doing. Uh, Jose Rodriguez is the Senior Vice President and Chief Compliance Officer of SANS China and Venetia Macau. Good morning, Jose. How are you doing? Good morning, Scott. Well, thank you, thank you for joining us. How, how are you doing in, uh, in Macau? How is your family, yourself, and the staff during this emergency? We, we are doing very, very well, extremely well. Uh, both me, my family, my staff, and actually the entire 28,000 employees of, of the Venetian Macau, uh, which is something very, very good. Uh, and we, we owe a lot of this to the very quick and strong response that the Macau government gave to this crisis since day one. Uh, and I, it's probably not a topic that we want to discuss, but Big, big kudos for the entire Macau government, for the Macau chief executive that it's been in office for a little bit more than 100 days, uh, because this has been handled extremely well, with a lot of care, tailoring the, the measures as the, as the crisis progresses uh, really, really well. Uh, and because of that, Macau, in the first wave, if you went of infections, just had 10 infections. Uh, all of those 10 have recovered. And now in the second wave, uh, 31st more. All of those uh, imported cases, so people that were abroad and they, they came into Macau, uh, most of them, they were studying in Europe, um, probably the, the vast majority of them in the UK. Uh, and when they came in, uh, they were either uh, noted at the border because there is temperature checks at the border or during the mandatory quarantine that everybody that comes in into Macau is required to do uh, at an hotel uh, designated by the government. Uh, so this has kept Macau extremely, extremely safe in terms of uh, the COVID-19 uh, uh, outbreak. And that's something to, to salute at this stage. So the casinos are open? The casinos are open. Uh, they were closed for 15 days. They were closed between February 5 to February 19. Uh, this was a surprise measure taken by the government uh, when the tenth case that was uh, someone in the community was, was detected. It turned out to be an extremely uh, well taken measure uh, because for those two weeks, those 15 days that the casinos were closed, uh, basically Macau was also in a shutdown mode, uh, but that was able to control the outbreak within the community at a very early stage. And now we, we can look now what's going on in Italy, Spain, my own country, Portugal, in the United States as well, and in another, a lot of other countries. And, and you can say that, look, if those measures that are now being imposed across the globe were imposed a little bit earlier, uh, we wouldn't see the staggering numbers that we are looking into Italy, Spain, United States, etc. Uh, so, but I guess it is what it is. Yeah, I see you are, you're at work. So presumably, is it uh, business as usual or a business with additional precautions? Uh, pe some people working from home, possibly. What, what, how have you reconfigured? Sure. So we, we, so during the period that the casino was closed, uh, everybody was home uh, and very few people were coming to the office. I, I came to the office every day. Uh, because also for, it's part of my uh, duties to liaise with the, with the gaming regulator. So I, I handle, or my team handles uh, the, the, the regulatory submissions with, with the local gaming regulator, the, the DICJ. Uh, and because of that, I, I would need to be around. Uh, and then occasion one or two others from my team would come over to, to assist on some urgent task that we may uh, add going on during during the crisis. 
uh, once the casinos resumed uh, on the 20 Feb, uh, pretty much business as usual, of course, with much less casino patrons. Uh, and, and then, you, and then you, you also have two phases there. So you have an initial phase when the casinos reopen, where you still have a number of patrons from Hong Kong, uh, fundamentally from Hong Kong, a couple of also local players. Uh, and then from March 25th, uh, Macau government imposes that anyone coming from Hong Kong also will, will be required to be on a 40-day quarantine. Uh, and that measure is announced the day before, Tuesday, March 24. Uh, and of course, when once this is announced, all these uh, casino patrons from Hong Kong, they were basically gone uh, and they and they stayed, uh, they stayed uh, in Hong Kong. Uh, th and things got even more complicated, uh, starting uh, from Friday, uh, March 27, uh, when uh, Guangdong, Guangdong authorities have announced that anyone coming into Guangdong, either a Hong Kong resident, a Macau resident, or or a PRC resident, would re would be required to to be subject to a COVID-19 test and a 14-day quarantine once they go back to the Guangzhou province. Uh, and of course, if you are if you are coming to Macau uh, to gamble, to enjoy uh, good meals and tourist facilities, uh, this will not be something that uh, will make people very keen on coming over. Yeah. Uh, although from a health, from a public health perspective, it's extremely safe. There is no, there is no infections uh, in the in, in the community uh, everybody follows the rules everybody is wearing a mask in the streets uh, at, the, at the at the working places at buses etc so a lot of caution uh, with public health from from the community uh, so that's basically where we are uh, yesterday it was so there is a daily press conference at 5 p.m. Uh, yeah. by the various government entities that are involved in this COVID-19 effort. Uh, and yesterday, the Secretary for Economical Affairs uh, was there, uh, and he, he stated that uh, as soon as this outbreak is uh, totally uh, under control in the PRC, and namely in Guangzhou, uh, there is a high degree of expectancy that the individual traveling schemes from from the PRC will will restart again, uh, and and once that happens, my my outlook it's quite positive on the sense that probably people from the PRC they will not want to travel to Europe, to Italy, to France, to all right. the places that they would normally like to go, and probably the safest place for them to come and have a little bit of a taste of Europe, it's to Macau. Either to enjoy Portuguese food, to enjoy history, and to enjoy some of the properties here, namely the ones that uh, we have here at, uh, at the Venetian, the Venetian Macau, the Parisian, and the Londoner, which the construction is uh, on. How has this impacted your job? Any, uh, any changes? Uh, not really. So we, of course, less less tasks in, in relation to the ongoing operations of the casino because a closure for 15 days and then yeah. less volume. Uh, but we have, we have launched a new platform uh, for player pattern and analysis back in January 1st. Uh, and we were thinking that it would take us the entire year to review the grand, what we call the grandfather patrons uh, and with that, we are focusing on that week, and we can probably get it done probably by the end of May uh, because we can focus more yeah. on these uh, grandfather vendors. So anything there is always... you're doing for Vegas or, or you know, anything uh, yeah. with, we are, with problems? We are doing, uh, we, we are assisting Las Vegas in some of their due diligence in relation to patrons. Uh, and this came out in the, uh, sorry, in relation to vendors, uh, which is quite an important task because 
uh, suitability of uh, suppliers and vendors, consultants, uh, could impact uh, Las Vegas Sands Corporation uh, uh, gaming license. Uh, and this happened because, as you know, uh, in the United States, the outbreak is now in full exponential growth. Uh, and some of the tasks, we can do them better here in an office environment because some of the matters, you cannot just really do them on VPN or on on remote so we because we have basically the same type of settings the same type of tools so we've been assisting Vegas since uh, three weeks on some of these tasks which is quite good so it means that we can and same goes for our uh, affiliate in Singapore MDS well I want to stop it there I want to thank you uh, appreciate that uh, insights into what's happening uh, in Macau and within uh, the gaming industry there. Appreciate it. Great. I'll let you get back to work. All right. And well, thank you so much. You are Thanks for joining welcome. me on this. And you and your family and everyone, please be safe. Thanks, Scott. Same to you. Very nice to see you again.